YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my finished 24 by July 4th update. I'm sorry if you can hear a lawnmower going in the background. This is when I had time to film, and this is when he had time to mow the lawn. So, we just kind of have to work together in symbiosis. Anyways, I have finished five items, and I have added six, putting me up to 30, like how Meg's Makeup 8 did hers. I will link her vi original video down below, and now I will show you what I finished. So first off, I finished the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. It is completely empty. This is where I started, so I really just didn't have that far to go. I will try to review these in my empties. Next, I finished the uh, Simple Pleasures Peppermint Swirl Hand Cream. This was the one that my dog decided that she had to take a bite out of. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. Yeah. So I wanted to get it used up and used up fast. I did use this on my body a couple of times, which is how I was able to get from like here down in less than a month. But it was really nice. I think you can get these around Christmas time from Ulta. They do that like get five things for $10 for like stocking stuffers and this was one of them. So I think this was like two bucks. Next, this one actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. This is the Julep Illume Face and Eye Brightener. And as you can see, the packaging is completely opaque but you can actually see right here that it is pushed up all the way. It doesn't put out any more product, so yeah, that's done. I'm very glad that's done. It did work very nicely as an eye concealer, but that's not what I bought it for. I bought it to be like an eye brightener and it was the same color as my skin, so it didn't work for that. I have the CoverGirl Lip Liner in Beloved. That is all that's left. It is scratching my lips. And the little bottom plate piece of plastic turns. I can no longer sharpen it in my sharpener, so it is done. And finally, I have the Lancome Liquid Pencil in, what was it called? Noir Intense. And this is all that's left. It has the same problem with the spinning bottom. Lots of eyeliners get like this. Once you start using them daily and sharpening them regularly, the, the plastic comes undone. It's very annoying. That is my five that I finished. Now to show you the rest and then I will show you what I added. First, I am panning this purple shadow in my Parallel Universe thing by NARS. It was from the Christopher Kane collection last year. And this is what it looks like today. So not a huge difference. It does have a little bit of a dip going in it, but hopefully we will hit pan by the end of the project. See, I have my Wet n Wild primer, which has gone from up here to down here. I'm pretty sure I can finish this in another month. Let's see, we have the Liz Earl Cleanser. I think I'm almost done with this. Like, you can't see through it or anything. I have no idea where I'm at. But there's only 3.3 ounces in here, and I use this once a day every day. So it's, it feels lighter, too. Let's see, we have the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Salt Spray. I haven't gone super far with this. It was here, now it is here. This was brand new when I put it in. I use this every time I don't blow dry my hair when I wash my hair, so. Gonna take a while. Have the CoverGirl Bombshell Mascara. It's the one with two sides that is super bulky and I kinda hate it. Uh, if this lasts another full month, I'll be surprised. It is starting to dry out. So this was kind of old when I opened it. I mean, it was about a year and a half old or so when I opened it. So not super old, but you know, it, the longer you keep mascaras, even if they're unopened, they're going to dry up quicker. It, it, it's a thing. So this should be done by the next update as well, I'm pretty sure. I have the... Let's see. Tarte Lip Surgeons in Moody. This is it right here. I have worked off most of the points, but that is about where I, have, where I have gotten. See, my mark is even a little bit wrong. It should be a little bit higher than that. I will fix that later, but that is where I am at. We have the Bite Crayon in Sable. I've done a lot better with this than with anything. Like this is what I'm wearing today underneath the lip gloss that I'll show you in a moment. So last month I was, it was basically new. I had literally used it once and now 
I am all the way down here. So yeah, yay. Uh, if I keep using this at the rate that I'm using it, it will probably be gone by next month, but you know, we shall see how that goes. If I want a little bit of color on a really light to no makeup day, this is what I wear too. So this is getting worn on days that I don't really wear makeup. That's why it's going so fast. I do have my Hourglass Lip Gloss Mini in Child. When I started, it was up here. It is now down here. I have to shine a light into this to see where I'm at because the lip gloss coats the case really badly. And you have to sit it up for like an hour or two or try to get it to stay in a cup of water, which I don't think it would stay in a cup of water very well because it's so little. That should also be gone by next month. Let's see, I have the Soap and Glory Body Buttercream in Sugar Crush. And this is what it looks like now. I have basically gone from a full thing to about right here. I need to get a little bit better about putting on lotion. I've been really sucky about it in the last month. Let's see. Done, done. And my final lip product, the bane of my existence, because it will not die, is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Zoe. And that was my mark for this project. And even though I have used it, it hasn't really moved down. I don't know what the issue with this is. Like, it doesn't move like lip glosses normally do. I have some people have told me, hey, you should put it in a cup of water. Well, what that does is it brings more of the product down and the thing's going to be even higher. So, now I admit what I do a lot is when I, because I'm going to leave it sitting in my case, it sits on its side. What I wind up doing a lot is swirling around the sides to get enough product to put on my lips because this will go all the way up the side rather than be at the bottom. So I don't know if that has something to do with why I don't go through this very fast or what. I really just don't know. Next we have the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And I don't know why I never thought to measure it like this, but uh, it will not even out. You still get the picture. If you look through the side, if you take off the stopper, I really don't have a lot of the product left. So that is that. I am actually getting through this. I was so frustrated for the longest time in Finish 7 by Spring because this product did not seem to move. Next, I have the Myzon Goodnight White Sleeping Cream. I started there. It is now down to here. I have not gotten through a ton of it yet. I need to remember to use this at night. So I do really like this product though. So it's not a problem with not liking it. It's just a matter of remembering to use it. Now this I do use every time I wash my face and it's not going very fast. It is the Uni Recipe Vitamin Recharger Essence. I started right here and it is now down to right here. So I don't know if I could finish this in time, but we will keep working on it. I have my L'Oreal Revitalift Moisture Blur Instant Skin Smoothing Moisturizer. We started right here. We are now down to here. I think in another month I could finish it, but if not, then definitely in two months I could finish this. Let's see. I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the waterproof version, so it's the one you do have to shake. I started up here. It was basically full, and now I am down to here. And I do use this to clean my beauty blender as well because it does help get the stains out, and Mine are always stained to death because I use them to stipple on, not stipple on, but like press on cream blush. So this does get extra use outside of just going over my face every night when I wear makeup. My Neutrogena Cleansing Oil, this is how I remove my eye makeup specifically because that takes it off okay because it is a waterproof version, but this is so much better. And this started brand new as well. It was literally like up to here and it is now down to here. So I don't know if I can get through this one either, but I'm really enjoying using it, so I'm not, I'm not even mad. Hmm, let's see, we have the IT Cosmetics Brow Pencil, which is going nowhere fast. I don't like this, and if it's not done by the end of this project, I might just throw it out. Because this is one that I have to warm up on my hand to make it show up. And it's a beautiful color match, but it is just so hard and dry. So, I mean... Like, it, like you can see, it's barely moved at all from the old mark, so. And I bought mine from somebody off of Instagram, so I did pay for it. I paid a dollar, and they're worth like 12, apparently, according to Ulta, who sells these, the size, but. 
I don't like it. Let's see, 10 sheet masks. I have used up four. I forgot to bring them with me because I suck. But I will try to insert pictures of them or something, like for my Instagram or an I've used them up. See, the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow, I've made a ton of progress on this. So this is what it looks like now. The, the hole has gotten a lot bigger because all of this side was really flat. This side goes much higher up, so that is, might take a little bit longer. I don't foresee any trouble finishing this off. I've said that before about eyeshadows, but this time I, I'm pretty sure. And that is it for everything that I originally started with. And like I said, I added six more products so that I could go ahead and get up to 30. First off, if you watched my 12 Inch of Christmas last year, you will remember this, but it will look a little different. This is my e.l.f. Little Mermaid bronzer. Well, it's the e.l.f. bronzer from the Little Mermaid collection in 2014. And it's in the color Sun uh, Surf's Up. I did have to repress it because it was literally like all around the edges and you couldn't really get a brush to it. So that is that. And I think if I use this every day, a big chunk of it will be gone in a month. In two months, it will definitely be completely used up. So I foresee no problem with that. Next is something that I wound up putting two items in for because when I originally listed it, it was a lot fuller and then I used up a lot of it. So I have two little mini setting sprays right here. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And when I th originally picked it out, it was like up to here, but in the past two weeks, I've used up a lot of it. So that little bit is left. And I decided to throw in this little mini Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. You can see where the mark is. I have never used this and it's brand new. So uh, I know this will be done in like two weeks. This would probably take three to four weeks, but I don't know. We shall see. Let's see. Now this I have to make a mark on because I needed my lights to try to see through it. And of course it's like completely opaque. I have no idea where this is at. This is the Ernesto Apple Honey, Apple and Honey Shea Butter Hand Cream. I love this stuff. This, this, I bought this from somebody on Instagram and they got it from a Mimi box. So that is where you can get it. But here is the product. I think it's about down to here, but that is literally just me tapping on it and seeing where the sound changes. So I don't want to mark that because that's not exactly the most scientific way of figuring out where a product is. And if you kind of feel it, all of this up at the top feels like air. And this actually is the part that feels like that's product in it. I only use this on my hands though because it has a teeny tiny hole on the bottom. It would take forever to use this on my body. But who knows, I might get frustrated near the end of this pro project and do that a little bit anyway. I'm still using lotion for lotion, so I don't see that as like cheating or anything to use a hand cream on my body or a body cream on my hands or... It's all skin. It's all skin. Next is something that I want to use up because I'm scared of it drying out like a lot of people complained about. This is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear ABC Cushion Foundation. I did a first impressions on this. I will try to remember to link that down below. Let's see. Here's what the product looks like, and it does have a seal, so I'm amazed that people are complaining that it dries out. And mine is still, you know, soft to the touch, but my cushion is coming away from the edges, and that, that freaks me out too. So I'm not wearing this today. I'm wearing another foundation that I pulled out after I finished my Maybelline Fit Me, but starting tomorrow I would be wearing this every day and these things tend to go in like a month because not only are, is this 0.47 flowing ounces rather than an ounce like most foundation, foundations are, I really need like two layers of this to get enough coverage for my satisfaction because this is a pretty light coverage foundation. Let's see. Next, I have the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. It's just a little mini. It is in the color. Is, did they call it a special color? No. It's in It's their brown one, though. So I won this from Birchbox. They were doing a little giveaway, and I got this. No, I think I only got this. Like, they had just debuted these, and you could enter in a code and get... You could either win one of their new colored ones or one of the colored mascaras, and I won this. I wish I had gotten like a blue one or something, but I got brown. I am wearing this today. 
I don't like these eyeliners. Like it's better that I got this one in like the real packaging versus the fake sample packaging I got when I tried it out ages ago. And to keep it from leaking, I keep the little stopper that it came in with it and it still tries to leak a little bit, but it's a lot better than it would be without it. But I have to be so careful how much I twist out because if you twist out even a smidge too much, it will roll all over your eyes and smear things everywhere. So I don't like this, but I'm, I'm fine with using it up, but I would never purchase it. And finally, I have this little Trey Steak Mini Shadow Cream Crayon in Marimoto Pink Pearl. And I know I can finish this because I just got this a month ago and I'm about halfway done with it as it is. For some reason, this Pink Pearl one, I, I have two different colors of this, three different colors of this, two other colors. But for some reason, the Pink Pearl one performs a little bit differently. It still holds my eyeshadows in place and everything, but it's softer, creamier, something like that. It definitely kind of mushes down a little bit more. So, like even swatching it the first time, I noticed that I like put a rather sizable dent in it. So, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, how many do I think I can finish next time? One, two, <laughs> one and a half, two, let's see, three, four, and if I keep up the same pace, five. I think I could finish five more of these next time. This is the uh, Bite Beauty Crayon, the Wet n Wild Primer. I might have fun kind of guessing what I think I'll finish by next time. The CoverGirl Mascara, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, the Tristeek Eye Crayon, and the hourglass lip gloss and child so i think i could finish technically five and a half by next time i don't know if i could finish this or not so i don't want to say and this these two i think i have shots at finishing but who knows so that's it thank you guys for tuning in as always i really appreciate it and hopefully i will see you later bye